Yeah, 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 yeah. I was finna write a song, but I've been hella stressed. But I looked in your eyes and noticed I'm hella blessed. Hey everyone, welcome back, back to my channel. My name is Aishana, or you know, actually here for you. Back with another video. Today's video, of course, we are on this black owned business series for us by us. Today's product is <laughs> Uncle Funky's daughter. Yes. I've actually never used their products. Super excited to try out their products simply because when I say I've heard about their products and I've always wanted to try them but wasn't really sure why I wasn't sure, I, I don't know. I think back in the day, I was really just a person who stuck to her holy grail. Whatever worked, that's pretty much what I stayed with. I never really ventured out too much. I found a product that was in my good, well, not my good, <laughs> that was in a good price range, especially because I turned, well, not turned, I went natural in college. I'm working with a little, little few coins, so I wanted to make sure that, you know, whatever I used, worked well and it was also on my budget so that's where i stayed at since i have a few more coins <laughs> now that i'm older and i'm doing this series of course i'm gonna go out and find different products that i've never tried that are black owned and i want to see what they're all about um, today's product is going to be uncle funky's daughter this is the ultimate kinky and curly travel kit so this i actually picked up at target i actually have a haul that I will be um, releasing soon. But I got this at Target for $19.99. Of course, my own money. No one told me to go buy it either. And I was like, oh my goodness, I get to try all these products for just 20 bucks. Because some of their products are like 15 bucks, 13 bucks alone for one, si for one product. Which of course, I mean, it makes sense for the size that you're gonna be getting. But for me, I can't really go out on a limb just buying $30 worth of product. I don't know, I I don't know, but that's just me. I told you guys before, I like samples. I like trying out products before I actually pull the trigger on them. So I've actually never got samples of this product, but I do today for a great price of $20. This package comes with the Midnight Train, the leave-in conditioner for Curl, the Miracle Moisture Cream, the Curl Forming Cream, the Curly Magic, which is the Curl Stimulator, and Thirsty Curls. It's a leave-in curl revitalizer. Today, I'm not going to end up using all of the products for what I am trying to do because I don't want it to weigh my hair down. Granted, I don't know if it will, but I don't want to take that chance because I have somewhere to be tomorrow <laughs> and I need my hair to look good, good. So with that being said, today I'm just gonna go in with the leave-in conditioner, um, curl forming cream, and the curl stimulator. Yes, that's what we're gonna do today. So those three, Midnight Train, Extra Butter, and Curly Magic. And let me show you guys what these look like. Where are my scissors? Brand new, brand new. Yes, I'm excited. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. And then, of course, inside, it gives you how to use your Ultimate Kinky and Curly Travel Kit. So it says you can actually, yeah. Right, okay, cool. So one, step two, step three, step four. And of course, on step two, it says you can choose either or. So basically, that's what I'm doing. I guess I'm doing it correctly because I had never even looked inside. Um, that was just off of my own knowledge and how I like to do my hair. Of course, I will end up, I think, using the step four. Yeah, it says for the next day to loosen and revive frizzy fallen curls. Apply throughout your hair, focusing on the frizzy areas, then fluff curls and go. So you know what? I'll probably use this um, tomorrow when I take down my curls. And hopefully it won't be like too wet to where it, you know, make my hair wet and revert back. So I may not use just too much on it, but I will use this too. So we're going to use all four. Um... Of course, minus one. And I didn't tell you guys what I'm gonna do today, but I am going to do a rod set. Well, 
I may do both. I'm thinking of doing a flexi rod and a perm rod set. Last time I did just the flexi rods, it just, I don't know, my hair didn't really care for it. But I noticed when I did both, like when I put these at the front and then these at the back, it kind of worked best for me. So I don't know, we're gonna play around and see what see what's good. Um, flexi rods really are not the easiest thing for me to use, just gonna be honest, but I do attempt to do so. And then sometimes I wake up and I'm sad when <laughs> they don't work right. So let me just go ahead and get started. I've already washed my hair. So it is nice and wet. Um, I have my hair clips, of course. I have my spray bottle, just in case my hair gets a little dry in between time. And let's get started. I'm going to section it off. Of course, that just makes life a whole lot easier. So the leave-in conditioner is a spray.
Hello, and we are back. It is a new day. I got my makeup on, curls about to come out. We're gonna go ahead and spray my hair with this Thirsty Curls. I'm not gonna spray too much because I don't want my hair to revert back since my hair is fully dry. Hello curls, hello curls. Look at that bounce. Yes, definition and shine. Thank you, Uncle Funky. <laughs> So now as I am unraveling them, I am going to start to separate them. I did start to notice a little bit of frizz towards the end of them, but I think that really just had to do with the way that I um, rolled my hair. Um, I did find a new way of rolling and that's what I tried this go round. So I think that may have something to do with my ends frizzing up a little bit. But it's okay because you guys know I don't mind frizz. And here I'm just going to pick and fluff out my hair as much as possible. Y'all know I love a nice big fro. Like get into these curls, get into this fro, get into this makeup as well. And yes, this makeup is black. Oh, and you guys know I have a tutorial coming on this look as well. So when I did this makeup look, I was actually going off of the colors on the packaging of the Uncle Funky Daughter's products. So that's what inspired this look. And you guys, let me know what you thought about these curls. And if this is something that you will actually go out and try. But of course, since I didn't use all five products, I do plan to come back to you guys with another product review. But I also want to try a twist out or braid out, you know, just something different. Don't forget to like, comment, most importantly, subscribe. And what do I always tell you guys? Share with a friend. So I actually felt like my hair didn't get big enough as I wanted, so I ended up putting it in these two puffs. How cute. And of course with the jazz of some hair accessories. <laughs> 